Um, my name's Nathan, I'm a designer based up in the northwest uh, of England um, in Manchester. Um, this is a quick test recording uh, just to see if my YouTube channel works, etc. But I thought it's a good place to start as um, I've had some issues with uh, the blend tool. So um, just get straight into it here. But the blend tool, if, um, if you've not used the blend tool before, it's pretty simple um, and I suggest Get, uh, I'll probably put some links into the into the um, section below just to outline how to do that properly. But we won't. We're not talking about that today. And um, what I'm doing here is basically trying to attach this blend that I've created, as you can see, the 24 objects on a single path to this path here. So this is a circle I've created. I'm just going to create it again. So nice and big. Okay. So what I want to do is basically attach this to this. So if I select both of these options, that's either Command A or um, Marquee Tool over it. <clears throat> go to Object, go to Blend, replace replace Spine. Now this is probably not what I wanted. So basically, I wanted all of my rectangles to be coming out of the center. If you, if you will, so sort of vertically exiting the circle from the center. Now, that's not what I want. They're, they're, they're all of those rectangles are on the line there, so that's not ideal. So what I'm gonna do quickly is just show you, select the scissor tool, select once here, and as you can see, it said shape expanded. Now, if I grab the direct selection tool and then pull the anchor point, you can see it's no longer a joined circle. So then I'll then select both of my objects. Object, blend, place spine, boom. And that's exactly what I wanted. Now, I don't know, I can't really tell you why that happens, but um, it does. <laughs> so uh, I hope that helped. Um, and then stay tuned for a few more videos, hopefully, in the near future.